Welcome back everyone to Europa Universalis IV as the Japanese Empire, uh, the Empire of China as well. And um, I've decided we're gonna actually, we're gonna negotiate a peace treaty here with Ming because we, be, in order to take all the promises I wanted to take, we would have to wait some two more years and we already have call for peace. So that isn't really all that useful. So I think we'll just go for this. I have added um, the, I've added the cancel subject of Sarit Yogi or here because we might actually get that one as our own tributary, um, you know, later on. So, you know, this could be useful and I'll take only a few provinces, which is still 45 uh, overextension. We'll take a little bit of cash and war operations as well as we're going to get rid of a few of the cores. Um, so that's okay. Um, that's that's going to be the peace deal. Very nice. We lost hardly any troops and I want you to make your way over here. In fact, you are probably the ones I will send against Korea immediately. So our O extension is very high, but it doesn't matter. We're going to start coring right away. And yeah, so the cores are going to come in. We'll be able to then piece out some of our other enemies. And things are just overall looking good. Call for peace should go away. Um, and uh, it, yeah, it does. Very nice. We are... It looks like we're making money. That's actually not true. Um, we have... Yeah, once again, Nate is rising up. That's fine. I really just want... I don't know, we're actually colonizing quite slowly. I would have expected to colonize much faster, but... Wow, it's it's certainly taken uh, taken a, lot of, a long time. But, oh well. Um, at this point, I might not even need my fleet anymore. Because they're very expensive. Probably should have never unmothballed them. And France? Yeah, is for the second time, the Holy Roman Emperor. They have been voted in for second session. But it doesn't really help them much. They're not gaining enough yeah they have 16 heretic princes which is actually kind of interesting because hold on you wait oh but you already have catholicism established okay i was just gonna say but that still hurts your uh well your european mandate growth how is it called again your i i actually kind of forgot what it's called imperial authority there we go right Anyway, it doesn't really concern me too much because we've got our own wars to fight. Um, we're losing quite a lot of money. I hope that this will change. Our interest is just so high. Holy shit. Yeah, we definitely need to do something about that. Um, and what are you guys doing? Oh, we're making this a core, I guess. Now, one thing I also never had a look at was the religious map mode. Now, Shinto is accepted. Um, so that's actually really nice. I never even looked at it. Um, and that actually also means that we are at... Yeah, slightly above 100 religious unity, giving us a lot of, well, bo well, does it give us bonuses? I guess it gives, gives us actually maximum absolutism. Let me quickly check that out. We do have more absolutism now. Yes, awesome. Okay, we could strengthen government again. It doesn't really help us that much, so I'll not do it. Um, and we'll instead probably just, probably just go forward and chill. Once this falls... We will... Hmm... We have black news. Oh, our ruler has died. Interesting. Okay, we'll check that out. Um, But yeah, we will definitely deal with this army. So now Ashahito, uh, the first of the Hatakiyama has... Yeah, has ascended our throne. The uh, throne, the dragon throne in China and our shogunate seat here in Kyoto. And uh, that's actually really good. We're going to get a lot more points now every month. A calm ruler, so stability should be uh, increasing quicker and we're getting so many admin points. We definitely need that as well. Now, capital for the Japan Empire. This is actually kind of interesting. As befits a new ruler of China, it is now time to select the new seat of our dynasty. Oh, the location of our capital is likely to influence Japan, Japanese politics for years to come. Um, the ancient city of... Oh, I didn't know you could always change your capital. That's really cool. So... Oh, look at that. So, let us remain the seat of our ancestors at Kyoto. Hmm. Um, but let's quickly check this out. I'll have to think about this. Since he stationed, the Togoku people have increasingly come to resent the new Chinese custom we have been introducing throughout our realm. From the court of the lowliest provincial official, um, due to this growing distrust of the alien impositions on our old traditions and norms, some even openly question our right to rule. So... Um, they will learn in time, which means we gain meritocracy and mandate. But we lose ooh, a lot of unrest. Or we 
lose 5 mandate and 75 admin points. Huh. That's a lot of unrest. For But you know what? We have enough. You know what? That's fine. They will learn in time. I actually want that mandate there. Yeah. Because we're at 43. That's actually helping out quite a bit. Now. Hmm. Should we... If we move our capital, we're going to quickly drop in mandate. That's the problem. Um, that's the kind of... That's a kind of gameplay aspect. But the roleplay aspect is... I mean, we're... We're from Japan. Look at Kyoto. This is almost 70 development. Whereas Beijing is 36. Not really all that good. So, I don't know. I don't know if we should move away. I think we'll actually not move away just now. We might do it later. I actually like that you that you can do that. You can rename your provinces. The ancient city of eternal peace along the Lu River. Hmm... But you know what? I think we'll just remain at home. Is there anything else we can do with our prestige? You know what? I will actually go ahead and uh, placate your local rulers here. That's fine. So that you have... I mean, you're not going to rise up anyways, but still. That just makes it better. And I think we'll just... I will just keep our seat. Yeah, I think we'll keep it. We might... You know what? With the next ruler, we might do that. We might change it. Um... I could also disinherit this guy, because he's pretty shit. He's 33. You know what? I'll actually disinherit him as well. Yeah, probably. I shouldn't... Well, if, yeah, well, that's fine. That was kind of a waste of uh, prestige there. I could have kept a little bit more, but that's okay. Still, I think that was a good idea. We don't have an heir at the moment, but this one is simply not fit to rule after our current amazing Shogun. So, we need someone better than that. Uh, we're still at war with Korea and UA. So we'll have to finish off that war first before we can do anything else. Colonies are coming in and so are some of our uh, manufactories. I really want the manufactories to be spawning in Japan. Otherwise, I'm going to be so mad. Uh, but we'll crush you and we once again hit the point cap. Now, do we have rebels? Do we have rebel factions? We do. Here, Machapai Separatist, harsh treat them. Yes, totally. 200 points, do it. We need, we, I don't need these points anyways. All right, we'll harsh treat it then there. Um, you go ahead and besiege some more lands and we'll crush these 15,000 men. Should go relatively easily. In fact, hmm, we're actually now, ooh, they could outmaneuver us here. Actually, no, we're catching them. Good. Actually, no, we won't. January 6th, January 21st, make your way back. This is a trap. I can see it coming. Uh, Rangaku, the trade post in Tokachi, has started to attract not only merchants, but also scholars and intellectuals. To these men, the books that the foreigners bring are far more valuable than the goods they wish to sell. The study of Western science and culture, Rangaku, is growing into its own discipline, and according to the adherents, we have much to learn. Many clerics are skeptical, however, and are some, as are some Confucian scholars. So, towards open, institutions spread... Four, nah, that's not going to help us. That's only until 1644 that doesn't help us. But um, more isolationist and we gain 50 in prestige. I think that's the one we're going to go with. Yep, I think that's certainly more beneficial to us. And Korea. Oh no, they're actually going to catch my horsemen. They're going to destroy them. Ah, we lost two horses. Let's immediately rebuild. Ban our cavalry. Because otherwise I'll forget. Uh... Sure, just a little second in there. Cool. We could go for some more ideas. Um, and I might do that, actually. Although, n new number of... Okay, you, you know what? No, I'll keep the points for now, because we might need them. <sighs> They're damn fast. Okay, well, we'll crush some of their forces. But I think now we'll, get, we'll, we'll catch them. Where's he going? He's going to... Down here. Okay, we'll, we'll crush him. Finally! Oh my god. That cat and mouse game. Alright, finally they're crushed. Now, UA, I think you are... Yes, we are not... Is not a co-belligerent. Um, but I certainly won't piece you out just now. Oh, wow. They actually fought very well. Look at that. How did they manage to fight that well? I, I don't know. But they actually... They almost caught us there. But that's okay. Um... We could go for a new 
technology. Diplomatic technology, that is. I don't see why not. Let's go for it. Yep. And... Hmm. Can we get a new tributary? Maybe... Yeah, you could become a tributary. Why? Why doesn't work? Because we're at war. Alright, well, I suppose we'll improve relations. I have a diplomat free. And... Ooh, our navy's engaged. Over there. Didn't I tell you to go here? Oh, apparently I didn't. Yeah, let's besiege the Korean lands, please. And we took two transport ships captive. Not sure where the rest of our transport fleet is. Probably down here. Okay. Yep. Make your way over there. Sweet. Okay, so we'll just simply continue. And we have a new colony. Now, some of you may have already told me uh, of a name. Or, yeah. Or, I don't know. Suggested a name for this new colony. But um, I have already... I'm, this is pre-recorded, so I, I can't really name it just yet but if you have a name please let me know i would like to know what you come up with um so i wonder what we should do should we continue to focus on here or should we rather i think i you know what i'd rather finish off um the provinces down here i think that's a lot more valuable to us yeah i, I think i want to strengthen this because no Europeans are really going to bother us here for now. I think this is... We're going to have this to our own for a long time. Whereas here, the English could could be troublesome. I mean, they're, they're not quite here yet. But they could then send their colonists all over the place. And I don't really want that. Anyway, uh, what I will do is stop paying these fortifications. Because they're quite expensive. I probably won't do... Oh, we'll, probably will do the same thing. With these, I just, you know, we can save money here. So we'll do that, definitely. I don't think that the Koreans can send anything either. So we'll just get rid of it. It's a risky move. Risky move, surely. But I think it's, uh, I think it's it's fine. All right, we'll send you here. Actually, you know what? I'll send you to Macau. Because I actually wanted to besiege that earlier, but it wasn't possible. All right. And you don't seem to have any more fortresses. So this should go fast. Uh, yeah. We'll quickly just besiege these lands. You can make your way here. Not too difficult. Uh, naval research is wrong. Lose prestige or points? I'll lose to prestige. That's fine. Thank you. Because we get enough prestige. Um, no, I'll decline that. But what I might accept... Let me check this out. I have a few claims here. I would accept this. You wouldn't accept it, though. Because we do not have any fortress. I would take this. That's 50. That's actually 50 development. Hmm. What for this? Are you co-belligerent? I don't really want to take from co-belligerents. Uh, what if I don't take... Well, I kind of want to take this, though. I think that would be nice. Then a little bit of money... That's probably good. War operations. I think that would be a nice peace deal. And actually, you know what? No, I want this as well. Certainly want that as well. Sachalin. Or Sakhalin. Uh, but that's difficult to defend. I think we'll probably stick to this. Yeah. Enable end your military lines. As well. And then get rid of... Oh, you don't have any cores. I think that might be uh, something I will go for. Anyway. Um... We have... We're now trading in silk. Very awesome. Uh, are we making... We're actually making money. Vu is even leaving the coalition. So we are really getting powerful here, guys. That's amazing. Okay, we have still enough military points to get the next tack. We just have so many. I don't even know what to do with it at this point. Uh, you have not yet... There goes Macau. Okay, well... There's no way we're gonna get over here to these islands. So I suppose we can separate piece you for some cash. I'm not going to take lands from you. So 150. I mean, I could actually make you a tributary. I won't accept that though. Um, hmm. And no treaties with Korea. Oh, that could work. Then again, yeah, taking your land is going to be just so costly. 
You could release nations. That costs points as well. Hmm. Not sure if I want that. No, probably not. Returning cores doesn't help me either. I th Do I want to leave you off the hook that easily? Hmm. I don't know. What if I take this? Oh, this must be a really valuable province. 29 development, but estuary and center of trade. Now, what is my current overextension? That's, uh, I can't really take any provinces. <sighs> I mean, and your rivalry, I guess. I mean, why not? Just end your things. I mean, I guess. He will accept. I mean, yeah, sure. And we do get warp rations, So that's something. Trade power could actually be good as well. Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of this. I want your trade power. He would even say yes. I want you to break your lands with Korea. With Vu. And that's basically all we're going to get. Alright, fine. So we'll peace out you were here for this. Um, yeah, sure. Separate piece, and now we'll just go after Korea, because we can't really take many more lands, uh, many more provinces. So that's fine, and we'll take the rest from Korea. Perfect. Now, you are in Majapahit. Fabricate that one claim that I need, and then you can actually stop building that spy network. Thank you very much. Cool. And we'll probably... Hmm. I don't know. We'll see if we can... Oh, right, I, I want to them as a tributary. Okay, we'll see if that's possible. Maybe I'll send a second one to the outraged countries. And we can act a new decree. I think we'll go for the palace bureaucracy. Uh, no, for the uh, population census. We need the money. Totally need the money, so we'll go for it. Our meritocracy is now increasing. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And you are about to take this. We'll take the war taxes one more time. But I think we're very close. To getting the new tech. If I go for administrative tech now, that would open up a new idea group, which I would probably go with. Hmm. Economic is nice, but I would probably go with like offensive uh, or quality at this point. Ah. Because we have just so many points left over. Um, years of separatism. Actually, that's a. Actually, that's not the one. Tolerance. How many increase? I'll probably finish this off first. Hmm. I'll hold on to the points for now. Uh, anyways, Lanao is the seat of our, of the family of Our Lady, a local unrest. That's good. And we have a new heir, Yoshi Nobu. He's a four four four, much better than the one we had before. I enjoy that a lot. Ina Arisugawa has given birth to this Hatakiyama boy. I like it. Okay, and one siege has been successful. I think all we need to do is actually take the capital, and then we're good to go. Yeah, pretty pretty much. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. You guys stay here. And what about uprisings? Uh, it's looking all right. Cores are about to finish. Very nice as well. And Utsang, I will not agree to that. All right, things are looking good. Uh, we need to make sure that uh, our navies are combined. Um, very nice. Okay, so overall things are looking good. We're making money. Let's see the peace that we can get with Korea. We do have a few claims. Uh, do have a claim here. Might as well. Operations. Can you break your lines? All right, we'll probably go for that. Yeah, I don't want you to be together with Jan. And our colony has been struck by Roman fever. Now, currently the province, local settler increase. Uh, send someone to organize a response. Probably go for that one. Yeah, I want our colonies to grow faster. And we have enough points, so might as well spend that. Yeah, we definitely need to do something about our money. We have tons of loans, but there is a reason for this. We are building manufacturers like crazy. So we kind of... Gonna have to be like this. Okay, but yeah, our foes are certainly coming in, which is nice to see. Okay, and this is over, so I think you will probably accept. No. You're an idiot, then. 
You are. What? Why not? Wow. Wow. That is actually something I would not have expected. Um. Okay. Well, I'll crush you nonetheless. That's actually kind of interesting. We gained army morale recovery. You must have some fortresses left then, up here, because otherwise I can't really explain how you would refuse such an offer. But if I smash some more of your troops, maybe you will you will say yes. Probably now. All right. Well, we'll split you into two. Thank you very much. Yeah, all these. Oh my god, our inflation is just terrible. We might have to actually reduce that manually. Um, but I, I don't want to do it right now. You go here. Thank you. And Korea, you have one more... If you want another naval battle, um, I will take the transport ship out. Thank you very much. We can now completely transport. Actually, that was not what I wanted to do. I only wanted to take you out, which I can't do. Huh, interesting. Um, yeah, just give me the transport, please. I want this to combine with the rest of the fleet. And I don't know. I don't think we need this ship. I could sell it, but it's kind of a hassle at this point. So we'll just have you protect trade in... Hmm. I don't know where. Philippines? Hangzhou? Probably Hangzhou. Go ahead and do that. Hopefully we're going to be making more money from trade. Not really. The, okay, what's this? Great expectations. A political marriage is as much a unit as it is a contract of mutual support. The Arisugawa family expects that the Shogun will heed the advice of the lady and actively look after their and his interests. No special favors, loosen, lessen cooperation, and they will also hold it against us. Lose prestige, gain local autonomy, or mm, the Qingans gain influence. Okay, sure, that's fine. Anything for our dear lady, I think that's okay. We'll, we'll go for that, because that's not really too bad of a demand. Um, honestly. Okay, now we'll quickly take our lands back here as well. And yeah, you go here and you just simply go there. 99% actually don't need to do any of this because we are going to be able to take this piece. Thank you very much. With That's 59 overextension. What is our current overextension? 59 and 41. That could work. Yeah, you know what? That works. That works. We'll wait one more month and I think we'll go for it. We'll go for it. Awesome. So there's our piece. You guys get together and yeah, we have a nice piece. Let's get but actually, yeah, 100% 100 point four. Well, that's okay. That shouldn't be a problem because we're getting our cores in on this actually just December. Hmm. Right, maybe we'll get some bad events if we're unlucky. But for the most part, this should be fine. A uh, general died. Uh, don't really care all that much because we can obviously get some more generals. We have so many points. All right, let's get you all. What's being built? Oh, these are all right. These are cores coming in. Okay, nice. So far, no bad event. Uh, looking good. But rebel uprisings are close. Chu separatists and Majapahit separatists. Where are the Chu separatists? about to rise up in Changsha ruling in Hingyang. That must be here. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. You guys down here, you are probably dealt with. Awesome. In fact, we'll probably send you here because I don't want this unrest to take the fortress. I don't want the rebels to take the fortress, obviously. Um, so yeah, this is looking good. I will probably hmm, ask you to become a tributary. You should accept. Let's see who else we can establish as a tributary. Now I will probably use the diplomacy here. Um, dynastic influence actions. Established tributary. Mongolia and Buratia. Now Buratia probably. And as for Mongolia. I don't, yeah. I mean, sure, why not? Mongolia, what kind of lands do you hold? Ooh, sure. I'll go for that. Yeah, I'll have Mongolia as my tributary as well. So they both accept it, and that means we should gain more mandate. Currently, it's still very low. Um, abuse of tributary status. 
It's come to our attention that the king of Daiviet has been harboring a great number of criminals, pirates, and thieves, giving them a safe port close to our interests. This is greatly harming our interests in the region and has made us lose face to the other tributaries as well as to our own court. There is not much we can do or lose prestige. The tributary criminal happens. Tributary trading port will be removed. Yeah, surely we'll do that. And uh, while they have promised to help clean up the region, it is clear that Daiviet has over time grown into a major pirate haven. Uh, haven. We have always known that they are barbarians and hardly worthy of our trust. The recent actions of the king has actually brought our countries closer together. Well, awesome. Um, but yeah, other than that, due to devastation, we're actually not growing that quickly. And because of our stability being at zero. But let's have a quick look at our other... There's English Mexico. Let's have a quick look at our other tributaries. And let's see what we can demand from them. Buratia? Um, one point. Hmm. Well, first of all, I'm going to demand some money. Yeah. And then you give me some gold. Yeah, I want some extra gold. That's fifth. That's fine. That should be decreased. And then anyone else? California? There's nothing I can get from you. All right. Dive yet. I could demand additional tribute. I might change you to admin as well. I like the points. I love points. All right. And cores are coming in. Our subjects are loyal again. Perfect. So overall, things are looking very good. And I just noticed I went over overtime quite a bit. So yeah, things are looking really good. Still, we haven't conquered all of China. This is so much development. This is so much development to take. But we are the second strongest great power. Very nice to see. Well, I guess we'll simply continue our conquest. We've taken some lands here in Korea and we'll we'll just eat our way into these lands. And in the meantime, we're colonizing and uh, just doing just doing what we do best is uh, build manufactories. But anyways, that was it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed and I'll see you next time.